Hey there, YouTubers. Welcome back. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBS Fun. Uh, today, I'm going to deviate again. Um, last week, we did a roller derby program called Puang. Today, I'm going to do one on Gadwin Print Screen. It's an awesome program. It is a free program, um, unless you want to get the professional version. And you may want to do that with the advanced editing features that it has. However, uh, Gadwin Print Screen is pretty awesome, just a free version that they offer. So they're a pretty awesome company. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and guide you through installation and everything. But uh, basically, this is a program where um, you click the print, you hit the print screen button, and it will allow you to automatically crop and get whatever um, whatever you want from the screen. So let me see here. So we're going to take that. We're going to extract it to its own folder to unzip and skip past this if you already know how to do that kind of stuff. Where's it at? Print screen. Here we are. So double click on that. English. Next. I agree. Sure. And don't want to see the readme. Click finish. And we're done with that. So here's the beauty in the program. So all you have to do is click the print screen button and it will allow you to select the area that you want to snag. So let's say I wanted this area here for my picture that I wanted to put somewhere. And you can click and adjust it as you want. And I'll hit enter now. And now it's it's saying is this correct or do you want to zoom it into 200% or something like this. I'll leave it at 100% or thereabouts. Continue my output or I could change the destination folder that it's going to. I'll click continue it says the capture has been completed. So it's not only saved that picture on in the my pictures folder but it's also copied it to the clipboard so that if I wanted to let's say open Excel or Word or something if I hit control V to paste there is that uh, image that I want so you paste that in, in your Outlook or in an email program or something uh, let's say I wanted to take this picture of the Incredimail logo I hit print screen I go down there and I pinpoint exactly what I want to take a little picture of hit enter hit enter got it let's uh, Let's click Control V, and there it is. Shift and click. Control Z, Control Z. Anyway, so that's how to use Gadwin Print Screen. There are a few feet, uh, feet uh, options. Excuse me. Right click on the Gadwin thing, and you can change the capture folder, the default one. Click on Properties. You can uh, ask it to let you preview the captured image or deselect that if you want. The hotkey you can change. I like to use the print screen button, which is just above my delete and insert keys. You can change the source. I like to leave this on rectangular area, but you might want to have it take a full screen print screen. Uh, still have those extra options about where to save all that stuff. The client window, that's the currently selected window, so it might just take this box here. Um, one of these is, has that option. I keep it on rectangular area. You want to capture the mouse cursor. That's something new uh, because when you normally hit print screen, it does not take the mouse into effect. So I'm going to hit print screen. Let's see. Let me hit OK. I'm going to hit the print screen button right now. And you see that it froze the little mouse in time so that if I do a screen capture it actually takes where my mouse is at on there so that's pretty cool I canceled the output there uh, some, let's look at some other features here there's the source okay the destination you can send the captured area via email if you have it selected I want to copy mine to the clipboard 
You can also copy it immediately to the printer. That might be useful for people who like to print stuff all the time. And I like to copy mine to a file. You could deselect that if you just wanted to copy stuff to the clipboard to paste all the time. You can have automatic naming, or you can have it to ask you for the file name after each capture. So what do you want to call this picture? Change the directory, all this stuff. You can change it to a PNG, BMP, JPEG, GIF, TIFF. Pretty awesome. Grayscale. I didn't even know that was an option. It must be new. You can have a time scan or whatever. So pretty amazing for a free program, I would say. Anyway, thanks for watching and God bless.